All right, guys, I have no idea how well received these videos are going to be. I'm going to keep them all really short. To me, I'd rather do this um, than to put out screenshots of why I did what I did and why I called what I called and so on. So, um, again, leave some feedback below on YouTube and let me know. But real quick, uh, I want to show you why I called solo, even though the thing had moved. Let me show you the daily real quick. Okay, so the thing had moved and it was trading just below three when I called it, right? That's a monster move and it feels extended and it feels silly to call it long at that point in the day. But let me scroll over. This is what it looked like when I called it. Uh, the reason I called it, okay, it's stupid extended, right? And finally sellers come in and then it bounces a little bit and maybe sucking in some more longs and then whoosh, right? Then it breaks down. And my thinking is this is where shorts finally feel uh, comfortable, right? It's actually taken out these recent lows. And, you know, shorts love to pile in these low price stocks that probably shouldn't be running as far as they are. But then this works its way back up again. Now shorts are in trouble and they're trying to push it down and they're trying to push it down. The whole number three and just above that, 307 breaks the high of day. So my thinking is on this, shorts came in here and next thing you know, we're trying three again and it's, it's flagging. Uh, whole number break inflection point trade again. I called this through three. I'll slide this over. You see, I typed it in chat. Solo three entry, 289 stop idea. Looking for a squeeze over the high of day, right? Right there. And so far, it's hit 340. So even though something's extended, if you can discern from looking at a chart, you know, where shorts came in and whether or not they're in trouble. And by the way, we're, after, we're in the final hour. So at this point too, they're running out of time to cover. You can get a nice powerful move. And I had a great little trade going on here. I have a great little trade going on. I'm out most. But this is a perfect example of putting yourself in the mindset of both sides. Long, shorts, who's winning, who's losing, where will shorts cover, that sort of thing. And even though this thing had run from whatever it was, a dollar sixty low today to three, I'm still getting long at three on that setup every single time.